My name is Pedro, I'm 22 years old. I'm from Minas Gerais and I'm going to tell you about an experience I had with the supernatural. It was 2020 and I was having a bad year. I was very depressed and didn't even want to study. Even more so I didn't like the idea of studying at night. I didn't like it at all. After all I live in a small town. Because to get to the state school I had to go through a very long and dark forest for about 30 minutes. I didn't like that path at all. A few weeks later the class had already started and I was going against my will. But conversations began to circulate throughout the city that several animals were disappearing near the place where I was walking to school. There were reports of three people found dead close to busy streets. The authorities didn't know what it could be. So they increased the patrols. One day I was absent on a Thursday, and they said I wasn't going to have classes, but how I missed I didn't know. Since I was just staying at home and I wasn't even having contact with my friends, because I was still depressed. When Friday arrived I was getting ready to go to school. Something told me not to go, but if I was absent my parents would complain to me. I left the house and said goodbye to my parents. The street that day was very empty, more so than usual, but I let it go because soon I would have to take that path that I hated. After a while I had reached school and to my surprise and anger it was closed, there would be no classes and I was angry for having walked all that for nothing. I soon started to leave, I would have to walk another 30 minutes DNV, I was already going the usual way and noticed a very suspicious movement further ahead. It appeared to be a very large man of almost two and a half meters. I was scared at the time and wondering what someone was doing there like a dog. I got closer and my vision became clearer. I wore glasses because I have difficulty seeing from a distance. That day I didn't even bring it. Another regret I have. When my vision was getting right and I was close I saw the scariest and most frightening thing I'll ever see in my life. It was a huge black dog with the red eyes. It seemed that sparks were coming out. The look of that thing was so evil. When I saw it I was sure it was a werewolf. I had already seen several films about this creature. This werewolf reminded me of the transformed Van Welsing. The werewolf it was devouring a person. Its intestines were flying everywhere with the bites of that infernal beast. In a reaction of fear I ended up falling back in fright. Soon the beast stopped devouring what appeared to be a man. I quickly ran in despair, dropping my backpack on the ground. That werewolf saw me and ran towards me. All the time I looked back seeing how fast the creature was approaching me. That werewolf had extraordinary strength. He didn't just have size, but strength and agility too. That bastard broke the trees calmly without suffering a single scratch. Soon the cursed beast managed to reach me by grabbing my left leg. He was playing watching me scream in pain and scream for help. I was very scared and I was already saying goodbye to this world. I prayed for my family, that they would never come across that cursed beast. And with a last breath I said, Lord forgive all my sins after these words. I closed my eyes and was already waiting for the final blow from that damned beast. However, I heard other howls coming from the forest, there was something else coming towards us. The werewolf with a lot of hatred touched me on a tree that was nearby, hurting me even more. On my left leg, I noticed that that damn werewolf was looking closely at what was about to come out of the woods. When, I was on the ground writhing in pain I saw another werewolf coming out of that forest. This other one however had skin as white as snow. His eyes were blue, he was practically the same size as the black beast. The albino beast stared at me for a moment and then turned his attention to that being with red eyes that came from hell. The black beast then attacked the albino beast and they soon began to fight fiercely. There were bites, bites, blood and destruction wherever they touched. At that moment strong trees they were nothing more than mere branches in the face of the strength of those beings. I looked at the fight right in front of me, I realized that the albino beast was protecting me, however, that black werewolf was very strong and very resistant, I didn't know who was winning, 
just that none of them backed down at no point. Suddenly the being from hell managed to throw the albino beast into a very strong tree making him move away. In a movement of cowardice that being possessed of evil started to advance on me again. The white beast had seen it, but he wouldn't be able to do it arrive in time. Then the demon jumps towards me, getting ready to bite me, I cry in distress and closing my eyes again. And suddenly another beast jumps out of the woods, heading towards the black werewolf. It was another, more different, albino beast, its eyes were white, this other beast got tangled up with that demon and they started to fight again. The other albino beast started to wake up and seeing that the fight of the other two was getting close to me and fearing that the evil wolf would attack me, it entered mine quickly to protect myself, I managed to drag myself behind a tree, the blue-eyed beast, noticing that I had moved away, joined the fight to help the other albino, soon the two began to attack the black werewolf, distributing bites in its arms and legs, that evil beast was very resistant, but not invincible. The albinos, after a long time, managed to tear off one of that damned man's arms and then ran their claws over that evil beast who still managed to take a few bites. There was blood everywhere. Side, the blue-eyed beast, in one quick movement, ripped off that demon's head, putting an end to that terrible fight. I was very weak and I saw the two albino beasts facing each other. They saw me and the albino with the white eyes took the what was left of the demon's body and dragged it away, disappearing into the woods. The albino beast was coming towards me and soon I stopped knowing that I was safe. I woke up after almost 12 hours, in the hospital for 24 hours without knowing how I ended up there. The doctors said that some people found me near the entrance to the forest. After that day I started to value my life more and got out of my depression. Always I will be grateful to the two albino beasts who saved me. Thank you for reading my report.